reckon this is it. We're not going to see any more water. We're going full west. I'm getting in. Shallower than you think, Dad. <laughs> 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 Alright, let's go to this finger one This ain't just one little thing, but a little bit more. Just a little bit more. Here they are. Just a little yep. bit more. Yep, pulling over for us. I'm just flying straight up. I don't know if that's her, right? It's a posty. It's a posty. Hello. Um, do you know where Ian and Margie live? They've got a finger lime farm around here? No, I think if you go straight up there, you'll see um, a couple of mailboxes and turn left. Right, OK. Like that. Legend, thank you. Bye. Left. You are Hello, guys. Nice to see you. You too. More, 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 more. You made it OK. Yeah, we made it. We made it. We went for a little dip to sand. Um, so what's the plan? Should we head back up that way? Follow us. Follow us, boys. This is 20 minutes. Up a mountain. We're like, on the cliff. I'm flat to the floor. Let's get to start raining soon. Look at that to your left. It's full Jurassic Park. Look at it. Well, thank you guys for having us here. This is honestly one of the best locations we've filmed at yet. Welcome. You guys were city slickers in Melbourne. What, what brought you up here? Well, we bought this property just over 30 years ago. Yeah. It was a holiday place and we mucked around with avocados for many years. When I was approaching retirement, we thought we should do, try and do something serious with it. And we found finger limes. We were one of the pioneers in the finger lime industry yeah. and, and we've been doing it for 10 years now. Did you see like a, a product and go, these are amazing, these are gonna take off? Because no one goes and starts farming the most thorny, <laughs> pain in the ass bush. There has to be some sort of vision, yeah. I reckon. Well, I saw finger limes actually in a magazine and a restaurant uh, been along mm. they were using them and a, a chef from Chicago um, was visiting and I said to him we've got a tree here because they grow wild just they, in the rainforest just over they? the yeah. fence yeah so in New South Wales yeah great, um, great state but then we sort of took it you know one step further and we now have about 4,000 trees in wow there. 15 years ago they weren't they weren't much of a thing, were they? Like no. for, for a native Australian That's right. ingredient. No, and, and the ones that chefs were receiving about five, six, seven years ago, probably took a couple of weeks for them to get the finger limes, and yeah. by that time they were nearly through their shelf life. There's the guineas so, just coming up to say hello. They're coming to say hello. On cue. Yeah. On cue. So I'd massively like to cook those, but I can't because they actually, they actually have a job here, don't they? They do. I know they taste good. Yeah. Every chef we have here wants to get well. Yeah. Uh, the emerald trees at the moment, which we've got about 1,500 of, have probably got about 3,000 kilos of small finger lines on yeah. them at the moment. Wow. That is so beautiful. Well, I've had my lips around it. Thanks, mate. <laughs> um, what do you got here for me, Margie? I've got. And this is a, this is a champagne pink. Wait, yeah, yeah. But you squeeze that out now when it's partially thawed. <laughs> Don't eat the skin. Sorry. Yes, mum. So that shows you can actually have frozen finger limes who are pretty damn good. Yeah. They're great on sashimi. Well, that's what I'm thinking of doing. I've, we're going out to Fraser Island yep. in the next couple of days, so just make a really simple dressing with the finger limes and yep. a couple other bits and pieces that I can get on the way. Yep. Bye. Let's go for a drive. Laza. <laughs> Bye. So what, yeah, what, what is it? What type it's of car a, are we running? It's a uh, Ford Jeep, 1943. 1943. Yeah. <laughs> and that's New South Wales. That's New South Wales. Yep. And we're in Queensland. Yep. Where are we oh, we're going into New South Wales. We're going into the tunnel. <laughs> have a go at this. It's one thing that I have been like 
you know, astounded by Australia is our climate and our environment in the space of, you know, this has been 20 minutes, but Tasmania, you know, we went north, south, east, west, and you get totally it's different environments. Yeah. Incredible. Look at that! Yeah, it does it's get cold. Yeah. It's, this is fake. Honestly, this looks fake. So quiet. <laughs> Mate, you wait till yeah. you do that. After all that chat with Ian and Margie, I thought I'd get amongst it and check out one of these devils that produces some fruit. So I'll take a look at this one here. And you can see why there's such pains to, to pick. That's all over the bush, those thorns like that. That makes roses look like your best mates. I don't know if anything can top this. For a native ingredient to be grown in the subtropics of Queensland, bordering New South Wales, it was bone dry down there, it's rainforest up here, and it's producing a beautiful native product, the finger line. It's ridiculous.